All right, the weather today, my goodness, beautiful. So, so nice. Yes, a great start to the weekend for sure. Yeah. Very nice out there. Last weekend we were up what at 100. First 100 yeah. degree day was just a few days. 102. Or, yeah. Yeah. 102. On Sunday. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So we've definitely cooled things down a little bit. I think this weather is a little more normal for this time of the year. Want to get you outside right now. A few different spots across the valley where we are sitting in the mid to lower 80s. So a big difference. Yeah. Compared to last weekend on Sunday, it was the first triple digit day of the year. Nice weekend for us all across uh, the state. We do have some activity just up to the north of us. You can see a lot of rain and clouds up there, but further down in our state, really nothing going on other than a couple of high clouds just in the northern portion of the state. But really, it's going to be a pretty nice and quiet weekend for us. If you have any plans for tomorrow, things are looking very nice. So 87 so far here today at Phoenix Sky Harbor. You can see average is 91. So we're trending a little bit cooler than normal and luckily not anywhere near that record setback of 106 degrees. We're still staying away from those triple digits, I think, for the next five or so days and the next weekend. We could once again get there for tonight, though. We'll be in the 60s and 50s down in southern Arizona. Definitely chillier up in the high country. 30s for Flagstaff, Winslow, 31 in the Grand Canyon overnight. But tomorrow morning, things are going to be very nice. Again, quiet conditions expected. So if you have any outdoor plans, you've been wanting to head out for a hike. Well, those temperatures will be pretty comfortable all the way through noon, the lower 80s. And then we'll warm things up into the upper 80s once again for tomorrow afternoon. So a very similar day to today. Just make sure you're taking some water with you. So over the next couple of days, we'll have a couple of disturbances pass just to the north of us, and then we'll get this closed low by the time we get to Tuesday, just north of the region. What this is going to do is kick up the winds a little bit Tuesday and Wednesday, and then it's also going to bring those temperatures down. So we're definitely on a little bit of a roller coaster once again for this week. So all across the state, the next couple of days, though, they're looking very nice. 60s for Flagstaff, 70s for Sedona, Pace in the Grand Canyon as well. If you're planning on traveling up to Prescott, the Prescott Valley, Temps will be in the 70s there. Same with Heber, Pine Top, and Cottonwood a little bit warmer with temps the next couple of days in the 80s. But we're tracking dry conditions. You notice no rain in the forecast the next few days. And here's that cool down. So we'll go from 92 Monday, 93 on Tuesday to only 84 Wednesday. So dropping below normal for this time of the year. It's short-lived. We're back into the 90s by Thursday and could get near that century mark by the next weekend. Oh, I can't even remember the last time it rained here in the Valley, Holly. <laughs> right? All right, thank you.